The Jacksonville Jaguars have single-handedly changed the spelling of Las Vegas. It is now spelled with two L's as the Jaguars were victorious over the Las Vegas Raiders 20 to 27. And, you know, this Jaguars team definitely overcame one of the largest deficits that they have faced all season and absolutely took the game over in the second half. You're looking at a Jaguars team that really started horribly slow. Tyson Campbell really struggled in the first half containing Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams had a massive first half. You know, the Jaguars quickly fell behind 17 to nothing, but then rallied late in the first half, got a score, and then they got the second half kickoff. Jamal Agnew has a great return, and they get back-to-back scoring drives, bringing the deficit to only three. Now, this was a come-from-behind win the fan base has absolutely been clamoring for. They wanted to see Trevor Lawrence have the big comeback win. They wanted to also see the defense thwart any attempt from the Raiders to come back once the Jaguars had taken the lead. The defense played amazingly well in the second half. They didn't play as well in the first half, but absolutely came to play in the second. You know, it was an amazing game to watch. I was there in the bank. You can probably tell I'm a little hoarse from the game still. So let's hand out some awards, shall we? Offensive player of the game. You know, this award has a couple honorable mentions for me. Number one, Trevor Lawrence. He had four straight scoring drives, 80% uh, plus completion percentage on the game, then almost 300 total yards. It was a very, very good game for Trevor Lawrence. You know, you could say a lot of it had to do the fact that Travis Etienne was moving at 28 carries on the day. But as a whole, Trevor Lawrence played very, very well. Now, another guy I want to give an honorable mention to is Christian Kirk. Kind of had a little bit, taking a little bit of a back step a couple weeks ago, but he's starting to find his rhythm again. Caught eight of nine targets for 76 yards, as well as one of the bigger scores in the football game, eventually bringing it within uh, one score when the game had been 17 to nothing. But I mentioned this guy already. He is my offensive player of the game. It is Travis Etienne. His third straight game of over 100 yards. His third straight game with a touchdown. Travis Etienne has absolutely exploded onto the scene since the trading of James Robinson. Even when James Robinson was still on the team, Travis Etienne was starting to kind of develop, hey, I deserve more touches, I deserve more touches. And now we're seeing what happens when James Robinson, or excuse me, Travis Etienne gets the ball uh, frequently. Totally going for, uh, in total, going for 109 yards on 28 carries with two scores. And with those two scores, he absolutely does deserve Week 9 Offensive Player of the Game. But let's talk about Defensive Player of the Game, all right? I'm going to start with some honorable mentions once again. You know, there are four different guys on this defense that had four different pressures registered in it. You know, Trayvon Walker, Arden Key, Foley Fatakasi, and Dewan Smoot. This was a very good game against a very weak offensive line. So I'm very glad to see that they were actually able to generate some pressure going up against it. But, hey, there's one guy I did mention on that list. You know, those four guys, I didn't say Josh Allen. That's a big red flag for me. Yes, he's had a bunch of uh, pressures thus far. But this was a game against a weaker offensive line where he didn't really shine when other guys did. So a little bit of a red flag there as we look towards that fifth-year option season. Now, while the front seven guys really did a great job, you know, the secondary rose to the occasion in the second half as well, really did shut down Devontae Adams and the rest of this uh, Raiders passing attack. But one guy that I really want to talk about is a guy that I have dogged for a while. It is Dewey Wingard. The Dewey Wingard revenge tours upon us, and at least for this game it was. But... I do want to talk about the defensive player of the game. In my opinion, it has to be Dewan Smoot. You know, four total pressures, two sacks. He's had two, four sacks in the last two weeks. It's absolutely amazing to see. You know, Dewan Smoot has been seeing very limited pass rushing snaps in the last couple weeks, but he's absolutely been performing. And, you know, he's not counting the reps. He's making his reps count, as they like to say. Dewan Smoot has absolutely been balling out these last two weeks, and he does deserve defensive player of the game here in week nine. But let's do a little bit of stock watch real quick. Who, who's rising up on the stock board? Who's falling? One guy whose stock, you know, has kind of fallen a little bit for me in this week because of his first half performance was Tyson Campbell, and mainly because of what he had happened to him against Devontae Adams. Ultimately, he did allow four of seven receptions, or he allowed four receptions on seven targets, three first downs, and a touchdown to Devontae Adams. You know, he also had an allowed passer rating of 135.4. When he was covering Devontae Adams, he really did struggle in the first half. Picked it up a bit in the second, but still, that first half was absolutely detrimental and did put the Jaguars in a hole very, very early in this game. But one guy whose stock is absolutely shooting through the ceiling is 
uh, DeJuan Smoot. I already talked about it. 36 pass rushing snaps in the last two weeks, but he does lead the Jaguars in sacks through that period. You know, you're talking about a guy who is in a contract here. Are the Jaguars going to bring him back? There's going to be a lot of talk this offseason about DeJuan Smoot. He's absolutely playing like a guy that wants to get paid. And, you know, he's been one of the most consistent Jaguars the Jaguars have had in the last couple of years. You know, you talk about maybe Cam Robinson, DeJuan Smoot, guys like that. You know what you're going to get out of them. So ultimately, DeJuan Smoot is shooting through the ceiling for me with his stock. Ultimately, Tyson Campbell can have a very easy pickup game. You know, he's probably going to draw Juju Smith-Schuster here against the Chiefs. But let me know down in the comment section below. Who is your offensive and defensive player of the game? I would love to have that conversation with you. Who's a guy whose stock you're watching and maybe go up or maybe you think they're going to go down a little bit? Let me know down there. I'd love to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and go Jaguars. Yeah, I just work here. <laughs>